Huh? What is up, everyone? I am even cringe, and ladies and gentlemen, today I got some news for you. Uh, some news that I'm excited and also a little bit uh, a little bit uh, wary about. Yeah, it looks like Netflix is gonna be getting a Junji Ito anime. Yes, everyone. So I gotta say, I'm definitely excited and of course a little bit worried about this news, to be totally honest, because I'm sure that a lot of us uh, remember that other Junji Ito anime and how absolutely god awful it was. Like seriously, just take a look at this, okay? Like the monsters in the anime look like uh, terrible retracings of the uh, of the uh, you know monsters from the manga and stuff. Uh, apart from any other issues that the show had, and uh, yeah, hopefully this show turns out to be pretty good. Of course, this is uh, being worked on by a uh, by a production IG, uh, which is uh, one of the uh, one of the biggest animation studios in Japan. So it looks like we can rest easy with that. But uh, yeah, we still can't be uh, can't be too careful and all that. So without further ado, let us uh, get into this article and uh, know what's uh, know what's going on and all that. So it says Adult Swim teams up with production IG for Junji Ito adaptation. Uzumaki, Adult Swim announced a partnership with the production IG USA to launch an all-new anime series based on the manga by proclaimed horror master Junji Ito Uzumaki. Uh, the original series will air on Toonami in 2020. Production IG is one of Japan's top animation studios working on hit series such as Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, Attack on Titan, Fully Coolie Progressive, and Fully Coolie Alternative. So yeah, like I said, we can rest easy knowing that. Uh, you know, it's uh, one of the biggest animation studios in Japan, uh, so that's good to know. You know, thankfully it's being handled by a, by a talented studio and all that, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, knowing the uh, knowing the previous Junji Ito anime senior vice president for Adult Swim on air, Jason DeMarco, had this to say, quote, As a huge fan of Junji Ito, I'm thrilled to be able to tackle one of his signature works with a team of amazing creators who are all equally devoted to doing justice to this monumental work of horror manga. Uzumaki is a four-episode miniseries based on uh, Ito's uh, Shogakukan uh, manga. Uh, the story follows a high school teenager, uh, Kirie Goshima, her boyfriend, uh, uh, Suishuichi uh, Saito, and the citizens of a small fictional Japanese town of uh, uh, Kurozu Cho, uh, which is uh, cursed by supernatural events involving spirals. I'm sure a lot of us have uh, both uh, read the manga and watched the movie. The movie was actually pretty nice and all that. Uh, hopefully the anime turns out to be the same. Uh, yeah, uh, of course the manga will always be uh, the best and all that. Uh, I've heard, uh, you know, some uh, uh, some mixed reviews about the uh, old uh, old movie adaptation. It continues with, the series will be produced at Music and Animation Collective, uh, Drive Inc. in Tokyo, also working on uh, Mamoru Oshii's uh, upcoming vampire comedy, uh, Bura, uh, Bura de Rivera, uh, slash Vlad's Love, and directed by uh, Hi uh, Hiroshi Nagahama from, uh, Mushi, uh, from Mushi Iji, Flowers of Evil, and the score will be created by Colin Stents Stetson, yes, uh, who worked on the absolutely shitty horror movie Hereditary and the absolutely amazing Red Dead Redemption 2. So yeah, um, it looks like uh, yeah, Colin, uh, Colin had uh, as much good as he had bad. Yeah. Um, by the way, if you're gonna watch Hereditary, make sure uh, make sure you completely evacuate your brain out of your head. And of course, in the article, we also have the uh, embedded teaser trailer, which uh, if you want, you can go click the link in the description. It'll take you to the article, and you can watch it there. So uh, yeah, um, it's been a pretty short article. Yeah, it is a couple days old, but I really did want to uh, you know get this out as soon as I heard about it. Um, like I said, I am pretty, uh, I am pretty hopeful that uh, you know we finally get a good uh, anime adaptation of Junji Ito's work. Sadly, the Junji Ito collection anime, like I said a, a million times, was a really huge stinker, really terrible. Um, it made no sense whatsoever. Uh, yeah, it really sucked. Uh, so yeah, fingers crossed, folks. Fingers crossed that this turns out to be good. Uh, we can, of course, uh, you know, breathe a little sigh of relief since one of the biggest uh, animation studios in Japan is working on it. But uh, the, you know, uh, if it's good or not, it remains to be seen. We can only uh, we can only hope uh, that it turns out to be half decent. Anyway, everyone, uh, yeah, there's been a pretty short news, a short bit of news, but it's definitely something to look forward to. Uh, me personally, I would have preferred if uh, you know this was actually teased a little bit earlier, like uh, earlier in the summer, and it ended up coming out in the fall, like sometime in October or whatever. You know, uh, the uh, horror season and all that Halloween stuff. But hey, you know, at least it's coming out in 2020 uh, sometime. And uh, yeah, we can only hope for the best. Anyway, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the bell icon, and if you wish to support me in a different way, I'll put your link is in the description below. And as always, I am Devin Cringe, and I'll be seeing you guys and gals in the next video.